So the benefits of working with citizen scientists are many. We've, since we've started our citizen science programme back in 2011, we've trained over 600 people to join us to work alongside ZSL uh, conservation biologists. And by doing so, we've built capacity uh, in London to uh, conserve our aquatic environments. Uh, we've learned a great deal about them, so for instance on the smelt project which we're here with today uh, we've learned a great deal about the ecology of fishes in the tidal Thames. We've shared that knowledge with all these people that we're training and we're working with, uh, so there are many benefits. I live locally, um, I got involved in a number of projects around the River Crane, Duke of Northumberland River, um, doing invertebrate counting, um, environment management works, eel counting, um, etc. Um, and I think it's important, and the reason I got involved was to try and protect the environment locally as a legacy for my children and their grandchildren. I'd really like to kind of set up a local group. Um, I live quite close to this park, so it'd be great to, to do something here and to monitor it regularly. Because I did a marine degree back home, and I wanted to be involved again. So why not in the River Thames? We live here, we live in London. I would like to know more about where I live. I enjoyed my degree and because I'm living in London, I want to get myself actively involved as much as I can with survey work and marine life especially. We got really close as a team. We hung up outside of work, outside of the volunteering as well. And the mystery strand of project, like every day, you never knew what you'd catch. It was really exciting. For me, it's just been, um, like I said, a learning curve, learning about all the different sides of the ecology in the Thames and not just about the smelt, but about all the other species that we um, found during the survey. So it's been really, really interesting for me. I think it's very important. I mean, uh, we're all affected by the environment and I've learned over the last 25 years that volunteers can make a difference. Just, just ordinary people giving their time for free makes a world of difference, so I'm happy to do it. Our work would not be possible without the amazing network of volunteer citizen scientists, all of the partners we work with in the Thames region and the generous funders of our projects. We would like to thank everyone involved in ZSL's conservation projects in the tidal Thames for their hard work protecting London's wildlife. Further details can be found at zsl.org slash Thames. We have many opportunities for volunteers to help ZSL's conservation work throughout the year. If you would like to volunteer as a citizen scientist, please email marineandfreshwater at zsl.org.